The next step is to turn our app into a NetBeans platform app. So to do that, we're going to go back to New Project and select NetBeans Modules and NetBeans Platform Application. Click Next. We'll call this Students NetBeans App and click Finish. When it completes, look for the Modules section of our new app. Right click and select Add New. We'll call this Students Displayer. Click Next. For the code base name, call it org.students.crud.displayer. And click Finish. Right click the Students Displayer. Select New Window. For Position, change that to Editor. And then select Open on Application Start. Select Next. And let's call this CRUD Displayer Top Component. And select Finish. Give it just a moment here. Now go to the original Student CRUD application, Student CRUD app. Select Properties. Select Packaging. And what we want to do is make sure that the Copy Dependent Libraries box is checked. And it is, so we can click OK. Now do a clean and build for the application. Compile everything, and that's going to make sure that our jar files are created. That's what we need to be able to take what we created in this app and move it down to our NetBeans platform app. Now, go to Students Displayer, right click, select Properties, and select Libraries. Select the Wrapped Jars tab. Select Add Jar. Now, what we have to do is we have to find our application. Here it is, it's Student CRUD app. So click open, double click DIST. There's our first jar, the student CRUD app jar. Select it, go to add jar, double click the lib folder, and then select all of the jars in that folder. Select open, and then OK. Now we're almost finished. The next step then is to make sure that our top component is chosen. And notice we didn't have to call it CRUD Display or Top Component because Top Component is added automatically. We'll leave it like that. That's okay. We're not going to ever reference that by name. We want to take a scroll pane and add it in because we're going to move our master detail form into that. Our window has to consist of something, and the scroll pane is a good component for that. Now that we've done that, go to the Students Viewer Form.java file and then drag and drop it over the window, and that puts it in place. And then we should be able to come down to our NetBeans app, right click and select Run. And here's our application. Let me fit it into our viewer here. There we go, a little bit too wide, let me narrow it a little bit. There we are. Here's our data. We have all of our functional buttons down here at the bottom. And you'll notice at the top we have a complete set of menu items just like.